The question for today, who stole the soul? For today, who stole the soul? You actually, you actually think Marvin think would be Marvin gay if he heard what I hear through the grapevine? Empty-minded empty music. music. In fact, it's, in so, fact, it's empty so empty that if you glared into an R&B, R&B ear, ear, the only benefit would be the wall on the other side. The actors sing. The singers act. Please choose a career and stick to it, polishing it before moving on. Sam and Dave would roll over tenfold in their graves if they knew that their sweet soul music evolved into sour sexual practices. Today's music comes from the pelvis and gyrates into the ears of our future generations, causing teenage pregnancies to elevate and skyrocket. Single parent families become the norm. Young men rush into prison to prove their manhood, lacking father figures. As the ones responsible for the act set back and watch music videos where scanty clad women invite them to have affairs, leaving traces of broken homes that don't mend. And this is surely not the same doo-wop that Sam Cooke and Aretha Franklin mixed with gospel. Who stole the soul? Who stole the soul? the soul.
the soul. Who turned this special delivery into a box of assorted chocolates? Sometimes I wish Al was still green. Oh, I sound like my mama. Boy, put that Teddy Pendergrass on and take off that noise you listening to. And me and Chuck still want to know. Who took the sunshine and turned it into microwavable popcorn for profit? We need more Erica Badus and D'Angelo's. And less children with no destiny. And I am by no means anti-pop music. Simply because pop is not a musical form. But what blares through my box is hollow. Who stole the soul? Who stole the soul? Who stole the soul?